Today I want to show you how to convert your handwriting, like these three letters, into a working font using Affinity Designer and Glyphs Mini, which are probably the most affordable applications to make your own font. Simply scan your design. After scanning your sample ABC, open up Affinity Designer. So the ABC is in front of us and we can trace the outline. If you have a tablet, that would be much better than with a mouse. So let's start in the corner right here. We just try to follow the outline. You can make adjustments later. We are actually building a vector line which can be adjusted to stay as close as possible to our original design. Like so. So this is our outline. We can turn this into a semi-transparent color, like this 50% of the black, to add the inside of the A. I'm using the pen tool again, and just draw on my line. Selecting the inside in the outside with shift and um, minus front, you get this result. So here we have the A. We can actually take the outline away. Zoom in to make some adjustments, like here. This little corner is not something you want. You can also just delete points that are unnecessary. Sometimes you have too much of them. Just go to the next. Delete some points here on the B. Way too much of them. There's even overlapping here in the end, which I didn't want. So I'm just taking some points and uh, drag them out. Again, going down to 50% to see my original underlying graphic and make some few adjustments here. We have the ABC transformed into vectors. 
each vector has its own layer in the layers panel of uh, Affinity Designer. The background has its own layer by default. It's blocked by default with this little lock that you see here. Um, we can move it around. We can also just shade it down. And um, we don't need that anymore, so we could actually even delete it. So with uh, A, B, and C finished, and converted them from a pixel file to vectors, we can now jump over to Glyphs Mini and paste them in. In Glyphs Mini, you just begin with a new font, which shows you the whole panel of capital and small letters. We begin by double-clicking the A. Here's a sample A. And now by simply copying the A with command C and pasting it in with command V, we get the original vector file into Glyphs Mini. By tapping S and setting the, the point on the left corner, You can scale your A up to this line and then make small adjustments again. You can press the space bar to see the result. There's no overlapping, it looks really good. So this is a workable A and we will just save this before we go on. Put this on the desktop, say Call it ABC, and this is not a working file font, this is a Glyphs working font. Just click the B, press Command C, jump over to Glyphs and paste it in like before. And there we have a problem. You see the, the second hole is not showing. So you, by double clicking this, you can, re, you can turn the direction of the pass around and that results in a working letter again. Going back and then we just pick the C inside, scale it up, okay. So now we have three letters and we can add, we can also just type away now. We can say, okay, let's test this and we want to just make a something like cover and now you see that the A on the B might be a little bit out of proportion and uh, I can double click inside the A and make it a little bit wider just by scaling it and you have a representation of the effect immediately. Take your time. That looks a bit better. Much better proportions here. Before we get into kerning and stuff like that, I just want to show you how to export this. First of all, we have to give this thing a name. We call, still call it ABC. Save again and go to export. just export to OTF file. So now in Finder you will have a OTF file. And you can even install this even though it only has three letters. It shows a lot of question marks here but I don't care. I just install anyways. And now 
we go back to Affinity to test this. We just type away a large A, B, C, and we choose new font, which is here. And as you see, this works. We can use it like a normal font. We can uh, do anything to it, change the font sizes. We can uh, color it any color you want. So, I hope this helped. Try Affinity Designer and Glyphs Mini, which both are costing around 50 bucks. So for 100 euros or 100 dollars, you can, you can start making your own fonts and even sell them. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time.